hacker group calling itself DedSec is warning citizens that the CTOS network is vulnerable to attacks. The group warns that so-called hackers for hire could easily manipulate the system for the highest bidder, such as terrorists. Both City Hall and law enforcement have denounced the group, saying the group is simply fear-mongering. But DedSec described itself as the modern-day canary in the coal mine. So I decided it would be a good idea to start this series off with a few campaign missions, so I figured why not, you know. their guards, I better double my weapons. Purchase a 416 assault rifle. What can I do for you? So, 1200 bucks. How much do I have? I got 2200. Over the past few weeks, CTOS centers throughout Chicago have increased security due to several attacks from activist hacker group DedSec. When asked about security changes, Bloom spokeswoman Charlotte Gardner was decisive. Chicago's safety is paramount, so we've hired private security for every CTOS control center. These highly skilled peacekeepers have trained in the most dangerous regions of the world. In fact, Ms. Gardner, these peacekeepers you refer to are military mercenaries, many with criminal records. Isn't that true? Indeed, they've served time in the military, but we should hardly reject our brave soldiers for proudly serving their country, should we? Our CTOS network is well protected, and that gives Chicago citizens the comfort they deserve. That was Bloom spokeswoman Charlotte Gardner discussing CTOS security. Sometimes these radio shows are actually, or it's not really a show, but it's more like news. They're interesting to listen to at times because most of the time they always involve you. Man, I'm driving so fast right now that I gotta slow up because I'm already here. This new security is no joke. I need access. Gotta find out who's targeting my family. I want that voice behind the phone call. Volunteers as a nude model. Oh, I'm hacking in on a text chat thing. Yeah, I close it. Nothing too important, I guess. Okay, so I, I'm about to enter a restricted area, but... Uh, I can get in this way by two different means, guns blazing or stealth. So obviously I'm going to pick the stealth route first and if things go to shit then I'll probably just end up shooting my way through and out. Alright so let's look around a little bit here. I'm actually going to start by bookmarking a few enemies just so I can get a fix on their positions while I get in this place. And since I already played through a decent portion of the game I already know what to expect. Surprisingly though, I did not play that many campaign missions. I mostly stuck to the side missions for a little bit because uh, I was in a Skype call with some friends and I just wanted to, uh, if I was going to play the campaign, I'd rather listen to it on my own, you know? I can't really listen to it with the Skype call going. Okay, I'm gonna stay low. Um, if I use this lift, they'll hear it. Uh, I need to find another camera around here. Oh, let me start with that camera. And then... Oh, I don't want to drop that yet. Well, I can, actually, but it won't alert them, so why not? Yeah, actually, you can use this, the environment to your advantage as much as you want, as long as you don't get caught. I'm actually afraid to use the lift right now. That sounds familiar.
trying to hack into cameras without exploding stuff just so I can get a fix on everybody's location. So I know there's quite a few guards around here. There, it looks like he has a server access code. Just make sure no enemies are around me so I can hack it easily. Alright, what's this guy gonna do? Alright, I'll just give it a second, but I don't want to spend too long on it. So, the camera is over there on my left. It's behind those crates, I can't really get to it. So I'm gonna have to get through this area without being spotted. Oh wait, here comes a guy right now. I'll take him out. Just give me a second here. Alright, he's got his back turned. Okay, I think I'm all good to go right here. I just hope he doesn't turn around or something. Yeah, okay, I see. He just turned around. He's gonna notice the body that I just took out, so when he comes by, I'm gonna go ahead and knock him out. And these guards aren't actually civilians, they're actually the evil guards, so it's alright to shoot them if you want. They're not really civilians. They're criminals. Okay. So far, so good. Oh, there's a guy right there. Um, I'm not sure which way I should go at this point. Well, let me try going around and see what I can find. Yeah, I think it's actually a little worse if I go this way. Okay, yeah, so I might have to go back this way. And I advise you not to run, because, yeah, they will hear it. They can hear that. I'm sure you've learned by now. Well, that was just plain luck right there. Alright, I'm pretty sure there's no one else around besides the guard downstairs and whatnot, so... But just to be safe... Let me just look around. Yeah, it seems like that guy is the only one that's left, so let me use his cell phone to the advantage. Whatever, not my problem. Alright, that seemed to work. Hold on, I can hack something out there. What's that? Oh! One time hacks. Crafting component. Okay. Now let's intrude. Now, the first hacking game is fairly simple, really. Just basically connect all the lines and whatnot, make sure they have blue. Red one starts a timer, which means you better hurry your ass up. Yeah, these are just really video file files that you can access, but it's nothing really, so I'll let you guys see one of them. What was that? That's inside someone's home. 
Looks like CTOS is compiling every intimate detail from private citizens. It's no wonder DedSec despises CTOS. That's it. I'm hacked in. What? You mean... you're in the CTOS? Already? I'm looking at the network as we speak. You got your access, and I've got mine. Profiler systems online. Everybody's nasty little secrets at the click of a button. This thing's highlighting all kinds of stuff in the district. I could take advantage of some of this. Keep an eye out for online traffic. Could be fixers in the network. If I can see them, they can see me. All right, I gotta move. I mean, a lot of noise here. Give me time to track your caller. I'll be in touch. So now I pretty much just alerted the police to my presence, so... I don't really see that many guards left, so I don't see a reason not to shoot myself out. Or my way out, I should say. They already know I'm over here. I didn't notice my pistol became silenced. When the hell did that happen? What the? Oh, fuck me. That's right. He was a compulsive smoker. Now, where's the other guy? Oh, there he is. And there we go. That was fun. the job exactly it's a delivery job gotta move some guy I mean how hard is that just keep in mind my reputations on the line here he's paying top dollar for the best driver in Chicago then he's in luck um just a quick note before I end the video here um I know it's gonna want me to challenge an online opponent the thing with that is um the account I'm playing on does not have uh, what should I say? An Xbox subscription, but my personal play, one, uh, my personal account does. Chicago PD are on the lookout for the individuals behind today's foiled data theft. An unnamed officer told our reporters that those responsible will be dealt with severely. And as I was saying, um, I might include some online play, maybe just on my personal account. But other than that, um, there's not really much to see during the online. I know it gets intense sometimes, and it's mostly a waiting game, but, uh... It's actually quite fun at times, but, um... Anyway, yeah, that's it, guys. So, thank you for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed that mission, and I will see you in, in, on the next mission. So, until then, take care, take it easy, and stay true to yourself.